Hi, and welcome to the Google Sheets tutorial on how to create a radar chart. Today we're going to cover the usage and creation, and then also the editing and customization of a radar chart in Google Sheets. Radar charts can serve a lot of purposes in comparing um, specific data. There are two different types of radar charts that we'll be covering, a single axis and a dual axis radar chart. They appear pretty much the same, but they can be used kind of just a different way of um, viewing the data. As we know, data is um, everywhere in today's day and age, but we need to find a way to use that data to portray and, um, and visualize messages and points so that we can make the best decisions possible. Uh, you know, with decision making in the business world, you often need to be as informed as possible and using the data at our fingertips um, that most most of us actually already have accessible um, is, is a great tool and one that we're going to cover today with radar charts. So what we're looking at here is we have um, two weeks of uh, cost per click marketing data um, showing the data broken down by day of the week. So you see over here um, on the day column, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through, and we repeat Monday. So this is the next week's Monday. So we're doing this so that we can look and see which day was, which days have the most highest cost per click and which days have the most um, clicks. So you'll see the cost per click average um, to the right of the day and then the total clicks to the right of that. So in order to turn this into a radar chart, um, the way we do this is we would highlight the table of the data, and this can be done on a large data set um, in different ways, but you'd select the data that you want to turn a chart into, um, and then you go in and you hit insert chart up here. Also, if you're interested, there's another way of doing it. You can click insert and then come down to chart there as well. It takes you to the same thing, does the same thing. Now, as we've seen with Google Sheets, they like to predict what type of chart we're going to be use, using. Oftentimes, it won't predict a radar chart. So to change that, we go over to chart type over here. And we scroll down to the bottom in the other section, and there's a radar chart there. So we can select the radar chart, and immediately we can already kind of see what's going to happen here. But we do have some things we need to change before we go on. Um, you'll see that it actually has each day plotted, but that means that we're repeating a day. Um, we're repeating Monday twice, so we want to fix that. So we'll go through this now. In order to change and edit this, we would have the date range here, or the data range here, and we can select here, and we can select another data range, or we can just go in and highlight the data range that we're looking for. Um, so that's one, that's a way to change the data range. And then what we want to look at is we have our x-axis, which is the day of the week um, here. And it's currently identified in here as a text, and it's labeled as well. To one thing that we need to do in this example is to make it aggregate. So what that does is it actually combines all the Monday data, all the Tuesday data, Wednesday data. So now we're looking at the sum of these these numbers. So we're getting the total, the, the sum of the cost per click and the total clicks, um, which creates a more visual kind of understanding of where our money is being spent and on which days. And as we can immediately see, um, the cost per click on Tuesday is extre extremely high, but there's not necessarily a lot of clicks. Now, Wednesday, our cost per click, and Friday, our cost per click are much better. So as a marketing team, you may want to start examining that time period, Wednesdays and Fridays, and see. So it immediately gives you a visual that jumps jumps out at you. Um, you can switch rows and columns. In this situation, that doesn't actually work, so don't do that. Um, that's, it would be if your table was built differently. Um, your headers, obviously, we already have that in there. We want those built in. Um, it keeps it better. Uh, it keeps the setup better. Um, so we have those in there. Now, from there, we can also go ahead and customize the visual side of things. I won't go through exactly how to do this all, but we'll just run through this. Like you can in chart style, you can do the background, border, font. Um, you can make it smooth or maximize. Maximize is not really the best thing. Smooth, kind of just change it if it's not smooth. Um, just depends on what you're looking for in this visual. Um, the chart title, so you can change the chart title, the chart subtitle, or horizontal, horizontal axis title and vertical axis title. Uh, font colors, font size, fonts, location, you can make it center. Um, this series allows you to change the coloring and line information. Um, for You can do that for both of the series or if you have more than two series. The legend is the legend is this bit here and that can be moved around position it can be changed depending on where you want it um, font and size and color can also be changed the vertical axis is your vertical is this bit here 
and that's gonna you, know, you can set your minimum values and your um, scale factor. It usually comes on quite well the way it's set up, so not a lot of need to change that. And then your grid lines and ticks. This is just different information if you want to change the way your ticks go. Another use of one of these. So we can get rid of that one, and we can expand these here. So what we have here is we we have the ability to show our expenses and in a budget versus spending. So we can look at our budget and look at our three like a quarter's worth of spending um, using a a radar chart. So to do that, we'll do the same thing we did before. We'll highlight the data and insert chart. Um, again, does it come in like we're looking for it with the radar chart? So we'll bring in the radar chart like this. Um, just to give some examples on, on visuals that you can do. So our budget is in here. We can come into budget. We can say line color. We want th that to be, let's make it a dashed so it extends out a bit. We can make it a bit thicker so it pops out more. Um, all of a sudden now we have the ability to view view it kind of standing out and then the other ones we can make them different colors so or change the colors or just all of a sudden now the budget's visualized it's there it's right in your face you can see the months and the areas that you went over budget on um, and that allows you to see a well marketing budget not only is it over but it just keeps going up each month as we progress further and further we need to look into that our development budget has started to increase, but it's right where it needs to be. We can see that there was some underspending there in the beginning. Um, our our um, sales budget here has stayed right on point the entire time, so there's really not a lot to worry about there. So there's, it gives you the visual assistance of being able to instantly identify looking at the budget versus the three three months in question for that quarter. So those are just two ways to use a radar chart. Um, they can, they're quite valuable and can be used really effectively in a lot of um, different dashboards and reporting systems. Or if you're doing a presentation, um, they, they really deliver a message quickly for maybe an audience that's not going to have a lot of time to look at each slide. So that covers how to create a radar chart in Google Sheets. Thank you for joining us.